Hello, it's Dave here from Alpha Cool, and today we're going to give you a closer look at the Alpha Cool radiators, as well as showing you what sets them apart from aluminium radiators. We thought we'd done a really good job showing you that all our water bearing parts are made of copper, except for the threads, which are brass. It seems, though, that some think we've got an imposter. To show you one of the main differences between Alpha Cool radiators and the, well, not Alpha Cool aluminium radiators, we only need a pair of kitchen scales. Aluminium radiators far far lighter than alpha cool radiators because aluminium weighs less than copper. If we put this not alpha cool aluminium radiator onto a pair of kitchen scales we can see it's 341 grams or in freedom units that's 12 ounces. We'll compare this aluminium radiator to the closest equivalent radiator from alpha cool. In this case it's the Nexus ST30 V2. Both of these radiators are 240 millimeters long and 30 mil thick so it's a really good comparison to make. We've certainly got the better packaging, but we've also got the heavier radiator. The full copper radiator weighs in at just under 1.24 pounds, which in real money is about 560 grams. Copper is a far better conductor of heat than aluminium, and it's also really, really important not to mix copper with aluminium. This is why all our water bearing parts are indeed copper. What do we mean by water bearing parts? Well, we'll show you. Standard U-style radiators like this are split down the middle like so. This then allows the water to enter the radiator, throw through multiple channels and then exit via the other side. The split in the middle divides the two sides. By simply following the water flow you can see that everything that touches the water is, well, copper. That's it, it's copper. Except for the threads, these are actually brass. We can't use copper here because copper is just too soft and doesn't hold a thread. As copper is far better at removing the heat than aluminium, we also use it for the fins of our radiators. Although these don't touch the fluid at all, they, along with the fans, radiate the heat and get rid of it. Wait a minute. We said that all the channels were copper, yet they're obviously silver in colour. Is Alpha Cool sus? No, don't worry, this is just solder. The solder allows us to attach the fins to the channels. That's it, don't worry, they are copper channels, we promise. And of course, the solder doesn't affect the performance at all. Ah, but these are marketing photos, I hear you cry. Is it the same as the standard Alpha Cool radiator from off the shelf? Well, let's have a look. We've just finished rummaging around in the returns department and picked up a severely damaged radiator that isn't useful for anything else. We decided to put it in a bath of acid and see what we could see underneath the paint. The acid isn't very strong, so we will need to use sandpaper and also a wire brush just to get the paint off, but it should be good enough to show you exactly what's underneath. A good few hours later we've got this, you can easily see the silver of the steel on the outside of the radiator. The steel's just a shell, it just holds everything together and it doesn't touch any water whatsoever. But you can easily see here how the acid's affected the paint and we can just scrape it off with a bit of sandpaper. We're going to do exactly the same with the end channels, a little bit of a sand down with some sandpaper and you can easily see that it's copper underneath. We're going to dip the radiator back in for a couple more hours, have a drink and then get back to it. This time we'll use a wire brush and some sandpaper and unfortunately this, along with the prolonged acid bath, did damage the radiator more than we expected. Recently we had a question, a customer scratched off a bit of paint and saw that there was silver colouring on the channels. We've already addressed this in this video and it is in fact solder, but we wanted to show you what it looks like in a real radiator. Now all of the paint is removed, it's really easy to see that the end chamber is in fact made of copper. You can also see the brass insert of course. The sides are just made out of steel, these just protect the core and hold everything together. And then the opposite end chambers are indeed copper again. Yet again you can see the brass inserts and this time you can actually see some silver colouring where the end chambers are actually attached to the core of the radiator. This is just solder once again so there's nothing to worry about there. We could leave this video right there, we've shown you that the chambers are copper, the fins are copper and also that the channels are copper. We've also shown you that the steel protecting the core and that we use brass inserts. Let's face it though, we've only shown you the outside of the radiator. We could just be being really clever and doing some kind of coating, you know, covering everything up. So let's destroy it even more. I'm totally not using this as an excuse to destroy things and get paid for it. Honest boss, I'm not, it's really really important. The first thing we're going to do is remove the fins. These can just be popped out at this point because of the way we damaged them with the wire brush. We're going to give them a little bit of polish with some sandpaper and look at that, bright copper. 
Now it's time to play a bit of a game. Pass me the saw. We're going to speed this up a bit because all we're doing is essentially chopping up a radiator. We don't want to take the whole thing off so we'll just cut a little segment in the side so we can show you exactly what's going on internally. Inside it's not a particularly pretty sight but that's what you get for an old radiator. We can however see that it is copper. We'll give it a little bit of a sand down and show you properly but yeah it's copper just as we said. During cutting up the radiator we noticed there was some liquid inside. Considering this has been bathing in acid for the last day, we decided to put on a glove for this next bit. Safety first. With this chamber you can easily see the copper in the brass insert inside. Again, copper, brass, that's it. Not content with the destruction so far, we decided to cut through the steel protective plate as well. This is quite interesting to show actually, because once it's cut through and disassembled, we can actually show you that there's two parts. The inner part is a really simple idea and it just stops you from over tightening the screws and damaging the radiator. The last thing we're going to look at are the channels. We're just going to chop these off with a pair of side cutters and then peel it open like a banana. Once again we'll give it a bit of clean up with some sandpaper and look at that, lo and behold it's copper inside. It's almost like when we say that all our water bearing parts are copper, all our water bearing parts are copper. I think that's probably about as much aimless destruction as I can get away with without being sacked. Hopefully this has helped to quash some of those fears and establish once and for all that alpha cool radius are in fact using copper for all water bearing parts, apart from of course the threaded insert. If you've got any more questions about the product, post them in the comments or ask us on our social media channels or our forums. You never know, we might just make a video about it. See you in a bit, bye!